if we're in competition, we're in competition. So I don't mind Aiden trying to, to poke the bear a little bit. But again, what I'm getting out of this is that JJ is just upset about Misfits 13 and the way it turned out. What's going on, my peoples? Woo-wee! Welcome back to the channel. Today's something interesting. Wade, as we already know, he's the biggest, the biggest problem in influencer boxing. Now, KSI, my boy, went to What's Good podcast to speak about potential fights and what happened with Aiden Ross. But Wade had to take an insight and break down the whole podcast. I'm going to react to what Wade is saying in this breakdown. And I'm going to give you my breakdown of Wade's breakdown. Let's go into it, people. Me, you, I'm there like it's on smoke. So like with Rap. me and Aiden, I'd mm. slap him in the face. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'd slap him. What, what stuff, Rib, we get into the Aiden talks? Okay, I've never heard of KSI, number one, slapping anyone. That's just the number one thing. Like, I've never heard him slapping people he has a problem with. So this is a little bit out of character, at least from what I've seen from JJ. Uh, I've heard him say it, right? He said he was going to slap Dylan Dennis, said he's going to slap Jake, said he's going to slap Logan all these times. But that doesn't seem to me in KSI's character, especially not like Aiden Ross, because we obviously know that what Aiden is, is no threat physically to KSI at all like that doesn't i don't know what he would need to, to slap him. i don't know did aiden say he was gonna like slap ksi or he was gonna do something to him wait. i doubt it but if he did then okay it makes a little more sense i still don't understand why wait. jj <laughs> why you need to slap him <laughs> maybe he'll explain it here hold up wait a second people wait for number one you don't know ksi on the level you don't know ksi how ksi really is you don't know how he is you don't know how jj is so for for, for you to come out and say you won't slap someone on site you, you can't Say that because you only know KSI through social media and through working with him on his own mitzvahs. So for you to say, oh, yeah, he said he's going to slap Din and Dallas, but he didn't do that. Mate, didn't they get in the push and shove? Come on, man, Wade. Like, what happened there? Furthermore, if KSI is eventually going to fight Din and Dallas, why is he going to slap Din and Dallas when he's potentially going to be getting a fight? Wade, is a business. What, like, Wade, think you're not thinking straight, bro. And then you're on about him not slapping, like, um, Logan Paul and Jake Paul, why is he gonna slap Aiden? Bro, it's a legit thing. If KSI seen Aiden on site, KSI know he would slap Aiden. So wait, and again, you're getting involved, you're throwing your two, three cents in, where he's not wanted, Wade. What's wrong with you, Wade? To me, Wade, it sounds like you're bitter that you don't work with Misfits and his own in the moment. It's, oh, it's it, all started from the boxing just stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so like that's even to the point where I don't even want to go and kick now because of Aiden. <laughs> I don't want to be associated with that platform or anything to do with him. I just think he's a. B and again, I, I don't know Mad. how this is going to work out. But Steak and Kick are the same company. And essentially, JJ is like, I don't want to be associated with Kick's platform. Kick runs the Misfit shows. I don't know how that's going to go over. But if this is all just stemming from the fact that him and Aiden have this little rivalry in the boxing thing, if it's just from that, I would say, one, it's silly. And two, I highly doubt JJ is actually going to slap Aiden Ross in the face. Like, I don't think I don't see that happening. You know, right. the competition's good. He's got his own boxing thing going on. Happy days. You're like, we're not there to, like, disturb that. We're just doing our thing as well. But when you've got, <sighs> allegedly, yeah. his fan base um, doxing our event and making it, you know, mm -hmm. slowing it down for two years, mm -hmm. two years, two two hours, uh, making people... Felt like that. That, that should never happened. You reckon that the... Uh, Why is Wade laughing? Oh, with Aiden, or was it Dean? Um, it definitely did start from Dean, and then from there, it kind of just this whole Dean, Dean messed up, people. Well, uh, before Dean messed up. Hey, JJ thinks he's a dickhead, but he's most upset because of the doxing thing. I don't think you can attribute all that to Aiden because allegedly someone in his community did that. That's like saying KSI is responsible. Why are you, wait, wait, how is that making any sense? Of course, it's because of Aiden. He's Aiden's fans, and he could have. Send a message to one of his fans. Oh, listen, Misfits is fighting. Tap, tap, say there's a threat going on. Ex Bro, Wade, what are you on about? Wade, Wade, wake up, Wade. What is wrong with you, bro? Really, what is wrong with you? And then Aiden kind of just got involved and just tried steering the pot. Yeah. And then obviously, you know, was like, oh, we're going to have this. Uh, we're going to do an event at the same time Misfits are doing an event yeah, yeah, yeah. and show that we can get more views. By the way, we still got more views. Okay. Like, obviously, he could, you could see his views, whereas our views are behind the paywall. Mm -hmm. Wait, right about now, I feel like I want to set the shit out of you, bro. Bro, you... you... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna continue, people. Wade is do my head in. Don't you agree, people? Get out of his contract. But I guess because Aiden was aiding that or wanting to, Dean doing what he did obviously wasn't the best move. Aiden trying to get Dean to come to his platform was a fine move for this competition stuff. And again, Misfits has every ability to send those lawsuits over and be like, nah, nah, that ain't happening. Rap. Come on, people. How much attention can be drawn to or away from both companies? KSI's a competitor. I get that. Compete. Let's do it, right? KSI did the same thing to Jake. You can't get upset that he wanted to run his event the same time you did when you did the same thing to Jake a couple of months before that. But again, it's not like some new idea that it yes. probably got it from KSI. <laughs> Most wanted. Didn't want to. Of course it was. Oh, yeah. and ruined the main event. I really, I really That's pissed me blow. off. Was Aiden involved really in that? Because he, he came out. Most wanted after saying he wasn't. So most wanted is, is saying that he wasn't involved and that you know he he How? just actually got the nerves got the better of him, mm. and that uh, there's a clip. Uh, I'm sure you can get it up. There's a clip where most wanted is in I think a space with Aiden and Aiden's there like yo I'll pay you to not All right. uh, come out of the main event yeah yeah how did you just say he didn't remember he didn't know what Jake was fighting it's happened I think that we've established now that most wanted just got nervous and had a you know a panic attack and just didn't do it this was a genius attempt from Aiden yeah that was bad that was bad if we're in competition we're in competition so I don't mind Aiden trying to, to poke the bear a little bit but again what I'm getting out of this is that JJ is just upset about Misfits 13 and the way it turned out wait the whole space did, did happen and you never know what will happen behind closed doors you know what I mean I already explained this in my previous video about addressing most wanted like Wade these things actually did happen I don't know if you're clued up with the internet or you're clued up with the universe like this thing actually happened so when JJ is displaying that and he's totally ruined the main event and it's because of Aiden try throw his two cents in there because initially that what that's what Aiden wanted to do Aiden wanted to make that event, Mrs. in not a success. So for him, for him to do that, he was going straight for his main event. Can't you see what's happening there? His, Aiden's attention wasn't legit. KSI didn't ring up Jake Paul's main event. I said to Jake Paul's main event, Jake Paul's main event and say, listen, if you don't walk out, I'll pay you. He didn't do that. So when you shouldn't refer to when KSI done exactly the same spot when Jake Paul... It doesn't make sense, bro. It's, it's two different kind of side of the fences. You're on right about now, Wade. And at and that moment, Wade, you're not making no sense. And you're frustrating me. And I guarantee you're frustrating the fans at home. Stop this bull crap, Wade. Stop it, bro. You make yourself look bad. But it seems like he's upset about that. He correlates it with Aiden's community. And then also grabbing at the fact that he thinks Aiden is, is responsible for the Dean situation. And then just mashing that all together is, I guess, where he comes to the conclusion that he needs to slap Aiden. I think he feel, feels like he's the boss. Like, he's a boss because of the whole kick thing. Mm. Like, he, he feels like, yeah, you know, no one can chat to me. I have fucking billions in this kick. Yes. I mean, I from what I've heard, he has, like, a tiny ass percentage yeah. but still like you know he feels like he's he's got a big dick because of it got so you, you. whatever but what i really wanted to watch here was what jj thinks about actually coming back to boxing we don't get him talking about this a lot because he's <laughs> been gone for a little bit and he's doing his own thing but he's back and he wants to talk about what his boxing future looks like let's take a look like if i was to come back into boxing my new thing would be no judges mm -hmm. as in not that <laughs> i would <laughs> hold on no hold on no. It, it ends, i want the fight <laughs> no no no, no. no. <laughs> it ends with some montage yeah. well, he's the big dog hit I, Valley Tudo rules, bro. Fight to the way it is. Make sure that I never leave it to judge. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I sorry. Would <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I wouldn't because that. Trust me, I would jump in. The just, yeah, yeah, I hate yeah. the idea yeah. that judges have so much power and they can dictate who wins and who loses. There's two ways I look at this for JJ, right? He says when he says that pissed me off, it means to me either one of two things happen. It pissed him off to get better. It pissed him off to come back stronger or it pissed him off enough to be like, man, I put so much effort into this fucking fight. And these three people on this side of the ring with their freaking notepads and their one through 10 scoring scale determined whether I won or lost. And it, and it pissed him off to the point where he was like, I don't want to go through that again. Right. That's the two avenues that JJ can take here. I think kind of what he's saying there, it pissed him off, but it motivates him. Hopefully this is what I'm getting from this, that he wants to come back, leave it to the judges. That's a dangerous game to play because that means a guy that fought risky already is going to fight even 
even more risky, but it also kind of leans into JJ's strengths. Okay, Wade, I've got to agree with you that part, that statement you said there, Wade, was correct. You was right what you were saying there. For JJ to step in the ring, he's got to be someone that's like status. He's got to be someone, what, it will mean something, you know what I mean, for the legacy. So, Wade, okay, I like what you said right there. Continue. I like what JJ's saying here though, like go big or go home. Don't leave it to the judges. We don't have a lot of time left in this game. Haven't trained to be an orthodox boxer, so we're not fighting to impress judges. We're fighting to knock fools dead. If you did fight again, it, it, I would, what, is it the Jake fight? Is that the only time you would fight again? Uh, I think, you know, Jake fight, the Tommy fight as well. Oh, rematch. Yeah, I, I, just, I don't rematch. see you fighting anyone rematch. else. I feel like there's, um, unless something this, comes out of woodwork. Nah, they can always beat Mayweather. Yeah, yeah. Mayweather, sick. Has to be. Yeah, yeah, it has to be top, top tier. Um, I know people were like, oh, I want to fight Rooney. I don't want to fight Rooney. Like, <laughs> no. stop. Nah, and then people were like... Didn't you win that fight? What? Didn't you win the Rooney fight? Of course, you'll knock him out. <laughs> and then you've you're got people like... <laughs> Evander, <laughs> Evander Holyfield being like, oh, well, no, nah, he hasn't said anything. But people were like, oh, because Jake's fine, Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. And because uh, Evander Holyfield followed me, people think that he's going right, to want to fight me. Right. Two fights, realistically, for JJ. It's Tommy or Jake. And then he says Mayweather all had the discussion about exhibitions and whatever and old guys and stuff like that. Mayweather still, I mean, cool. Like, run all those, run one of those. It doesn't really matter. It seems like when he answers that... Mayweather's not too old. The most realistic to him is the Tommy rematch. That deserves a rematch. Want the Jake fight, it just doesn't seem realistic right now. Mayweather just running through and... Run it back, win, and then I'll fight Tommy after. Like, okay, give him KSI as well. He's had Logan, Deji, all right. Finishing the final bosses of influencer boxing, I guess. What I'm getting out of this is that JJ does still want to fight and that even with the Tommy loss and the, the officials, whatever, it pissed him off in a good way. Of course, man. It's JJ's a warrior, bro. <laughs> Tag show. team fight. Me and Mike Tyson no, versus no, you no, and Mayweather. No, no, no. <laughs> Not doing it. It's just cringe. It's cringe. What? 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 Tag team is cringe or what? No, I, I'm. <laughs> fuck that, he's fine, my Talk to him, Randolph. Listen, hey, I didn't say it, all right? It wasn't me. Simon saw it coming. That was nice, Randolph. Fair play, fair play. Fuck that, he's fine, my Tyson. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I posted what the rules are as well. Mm. So it's 16 ounce. 16 it's ounce. not even 10 ounce. It's Two 16 minute rounds. I just, oh. 16 ounces. We don't actually know what the Tyson and Jake fight's gonna look like. We do know now, because Tyson was on Fox News, uh, as I'm recording this yesterday, that it will be an exhibition. Change the rules. Do you know? Because this guy is almost 60. Exhibition. Oh man, it's just so sad. What is the... I mean, that's... Man, 60, you know, people see Mike in his old age and you're starting to have to do exhibition stuff, it's not the greatest idea for Mike, who is going to be 58, to be boxing. Yeah, but wait, you're forgetting. Jake is going up a weight class. It's a heavyweight. The thing is, can Jake maintain that fitness? Can he maintain that cardio? Mike Tyson, he fights a heavyweight. He's used to that size. Yes, age isn't matter in this 100%, but by counting the extra weight on you, can Jake maintain a good pace? versus a mic that isn't Mike from 20 years ago. I agree, I agree. But then what if, just like devil's advocate, what if uh, Mike Tyson beats Jake? What would, would you, would you think will happen? I think will happen? Yeah. yeah. For Jake. yeah. That is like laughable. Well, there's no judges as well. Oh, okay. So, well, so, that's, okay. yeah, no, so, no, that's, no, that's what I mean. So we're not gonna know. Well, if, you, if you ask Deji, Deji will say, I mean, he's like, yeah, I've lost, but he'll also say, you know, in the Mayweather fight. Wasn't that also an exhibition? Yeah, there was no yeah, winner. But, he, he'll say I won because I give him a black eye. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the but thing is, Deji he, lost, it, but it, 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 it was a stopped. win. There you have it, guys. Breakdown of Wade's breakdown of KSI and What's Good podcast. Now, I think Wade, right about now, Wade, you need a break from all of this breakdown because the facts you said in this made no sense. Um, it seems like you're bitter. It seems like you got like a. a, a, a it seems like Wade, you got an agenda against. Okay, so I don't know why, probably I do know why, because you got sacked, you got fired for misses and his own. So you're trying to throw your dagger in, you're trying to throw your two pen cents in, and you're trying to make him sound all bad. Deep down inside, bro, you know you don't want to be saying these type of things, but yeah, people, drop a comment below if you agree with what I'm saying, drop a comment below if you if you agree with Wade, or just drop a comment below if you just think I'm right. <laughs> but yeah, people, I'm gone. You already know what we do when we go, people. Three, two, one. Woo!